All right, let's go ahead and detail a little bit more on software quality and developer productivity. What exactly does he mean by raising quality of software and increasing developer productivity? So, very readable. He says again, the syntax is easy. And it and I guess it, it also says that it, you make very uniform code and because it's easy to learn the syntax it is easy to understand um, what to do without looking up this particular guides or anything like that constantly which is nice there's just met less memorization Overall, I guess what he means also by quality here is that not only is it very readable, but although there are many ways to do a certain thing in Python. There is usually one very obvious way. If you less obvious ways, and the small set of coherent interactions. This is a quote. I'm gonna put this in quotes. Even though it's paraphrased. I don't care. I'm going to remember it. And I want to remember it. So I guess this is a fashionable thing that, uh, let's, <laughs> well, why not? When interactions are ambiguous, explicit intervention is preferred. Simple is better than complex. What does he mean by explicit intervention is preferred over implicit? I wonder what that means in Python terms. I wonder that. 
that means in Python terms. This is a design theme. Simple. This honestly fits in here too. Python is a fast language. Which, yep, what else does he want to say? Speed of development. Yep, and running. Sure. And, which is good. Good for <laughs> recessions. Spell that right. C E S S R E C E S S R E C E S S Ions Rec S Ions Recreational SX Ions Recessions are recreational SX Ions Bouncing around in England for fun. Okay. The next thing here is the next topic. So we are gonna move on. From why learn Python? is Python scripting language. Let's figure that out. Is Python a scripting language? Next time.
Okay, so this guy Mark Lutz says scripting language, not necessarily. Because when he's talking about scripts, he's saying that they are simple, t simpler top level files. While programs are more sophisticated multi file apps. So, and then he gives the scripting language as main definition. So let's, let's first, before we move on, let's, let's surmise. So, is scripting, is it a descripting language? <clears throat> not fully, not really. Scripting is one of the things is that Python can do well, but it can do many other. And it has many other features. Let's move on here. Let's. Is in general language. Actually, that's a good idea. Because that's the thing that people do. Is a script. Simple, safe, top level file. What is a program with complex multi application? Let's look up what what is a script. In programming, sure, Michael. So let, let's see what actually scripting language is. A script, a scripting lang, oh, a scripting or script language is a program language that supports scripts programs written for special runtime environment that automate execution of tasks. Let's get one by one by getting operated. It's often interpreted rather than compiled. The Python interpreter, rather than Python compiler, is a C compiler. Primitives can use those elementary tasks of API calls and language allows them to combine with more complex organisms. Is an extension language. dynamic high level dynamic because it's not static because we don't have to define the variable type and high level because it's far away from binary a couple levels of, of a abstraction above general purpose because it can be used for a lot of different things
What exactly is an extension? An extension. Ex extension. What is an extension? Extension. Interpreter offered by an application program. So they can write macros or push programs to extend the original application. Extension languages have a C interface. They usually C for the language compiled language, and they can be given access to C data structures localized to C. So it adds on to things. That makes sense. I just needed to confirm. So I guess it supports scripts. Okay. Not, not fully. Not. Not solely. Scripting language has so many different meanings to different observers that if someone prefer that it not be applied to by at all. In fact, people tend to make three very different associations, some of which are more useful than others when they hear Python labeled as such. So this is the real problem that comes along with it. What does it mean? to be described as a scripting language. So there's three things. The shell tool. Control language. And ease of use. Okay, you don't want those? Fine, I don't want them either. What is a shell tool? This means that people think that Python
looks like something. I don't know. Them. Yeah, probably them. Control language means that to other scripting refers to a glue layer used to control and direct other application components. Python programs are often often indeed Python programs are indeed often deployed in the context of larger applications. For instance, to test hardware devices, Python programs may call out components that give low-level access to a device. Similarly, programs may run bits of Python code as strategic points to support end-user product customization without the need to ship and recompile the entire system's source code. Python's simplicity makes it a natural flexible tool. Technically, though, this is also just a common Python rule. Many, perhaps most Python programmers, code standalone scripts without ever using or knowing about any integrated components. It's not just a control language. So, so a control language is the body a robot with many arm with many armed components appendages back to our component analogy. And those components all have uh, good feature like separation, good like separation of concerns. They have good separation of concerns. So all of those features, good separation of concerns. And those features may eventually evolve and transcend into a service in themselves. So. Control language is the body of row of many appendages. Sure, I get it. Python programs may call out components that give low-level access to a device. Python programs may call out components that give low-level access to a device to test hardware devices. The best way to think about the term scripting language it refers to a simple language that is quick for coding ta tasks.
Python is quick and therefore it gets So that's cool. What's the downside though? Interesting. So implement interpreted languages have a slower execution speed than compiled languages. I guess that makes sense. They're putting it into a package rather than getting read step by step, line by line, and and interpreted at that level. Just like that, it is 126. So I think that we're going to pause for here. And we will revisit this book tomorrow. All right? Sounds good. Take care.